Hi, my name's Scott Hebbard from Spark Systems, and today I'm going to discuss some of the enhanced reporting features of Enterprise Architect. Let us assume that we need to deliver the software requirement specification for the ATM project that is displayed on screen. Here is an example of an SRS report that I completed earlier. The report includes a logo, a title and a table of contents. In addition, the report also uses document fragments in order to display document properties, to list all of the project roles and outline all of the version 1 artefacts that are found within the project. The remainder of the report is based on one of the many document templates that ships with Enterprise Architect. We'll use document template fragments in conjunction with SQL, model scripts and filters to build a custom report. Let's begin by creating a report template called ATM Project Specification. Use the context menu to lay out the report with the appropriate heading, logo and font styles that you require. Now that we have created our ATM project specification document, we can establish our first document template fragment to display our document properties. These details are typically not available via the project browser and are best supplied using a fragment. From the Generate Documentation dialog, I can select the Templates tab. Create a new template and provide a meaningful name such as Display Document Properties. There is no need to copy an existing template at this time. I have arbitrarily placed my fragment in a group called ATM Templates. Grouping fragments in Enterprise Architect makes them easier to find and reuse. Mark the template as a fragment. Using the document template editor, open the document options. Please note that the checkbox indicates that we are working on a template fragment. Select the custom query tab. For the template fragment type, select the custom script checkbox. I'll select a model script from the drop down list that I prepared earlier called document properties. To reference the variables within our fragment, please enter the following text. The text makes reference to my RTF data. We can view that model script from the scripting window. The model script is listed here under the fragments group. The function is called myRTFData and returns a number of details including the time and date that the document was generated, the author's name and the name of the Enterprise Architect repository being used. Let's go back to our document fragment and we'll use this information to build a better report. In the document template editor in the sections panel on the left hand side, select the custom checkbox at the bottom. This custom checkbox allows us to generate a custom section that will be used to display our document properties. Insert a heading and a table in order to lay out our report. You can see in the left hand column I've inserted a number of different table headings for the date generated, the time generated, etc. I can select any cell in the right hand side and I can insert a custom field.
We can now save our template fragment. We can return to our original ATM project specification document. I'm going to select package. And this time, I'm going to right click and insert a template. And you can see display document properties is listed here. We can now generate out our document. If we view the file, you can see that we now have our document properties displayed neatly within Enterprise Architect. The next document fragment we shall create will use a SQL script to display information about the project roles within Enterprise Architect. Create a new document template called Project Roles. Select an appropriate template group and mark as a fragment. Select the document properties and the custom query tab. This time select the custom SQL section and enter the following text. This simple select SQL statement lists all roles. You need to insert an appropriate heading. In the sections panel on the left hand side, select custom. This allows us to create a custom section that will display our variable A role. Insert the custom field. And then save the template. We can now quickly jump to our ATM project specification and we can insert our new document template. In order to view the results we need to generate a report to see what the fragment looks like. Our project roles are now listed in our ATM project specification report. Now assume that we need to document all version 1 artifacts within our model. To do that we will create our third document fragment template that filters elements by version number. Select the templates tab and create a new template called display version 1 artifacts. Select the appropriate template group, mark the template as a fragment, and press OK. From within the template editor, open up the document properties and select element filters. This allows you to control what information is displayed in your report. Select the element filters tab. Add a filter where version must be equal to 1.0. Select equal from the drop down box. Double click to enter the value 1.0, select the required checkbox and press OK. On the left hand side, select package followed by element. Create a table with two rows and four columns. As you can see, I've inserted the name, the status, the version, and a link to further information. In here, we're going to insert the relevant fields. The final item I wish to include is a hyperlink to a more detailed description of the element.
I shall now open the document properties. It is important to note that the option No Bookmarks needs to be selected. This will suppress the bookmarks locally so that the hyperlinks will work in my ATM project specifications document. I'll now save the fragment and I'll return to my ATM project specification. Insert the fragment to display all version 1 artifacts and generate the document accordingly. Our ATM software specification report now lists document properties, project roles and all version 1 artifacts using three very different document template fragments. The final step is to create a template fragment called Display Basic Template. We'll copy the existing basic template, which is one of the many templates that ships with Enterprise Architect. Mark the template as a fragment and select an appropriate group and press OK. Enterprise Architect makes it very easy to take elements from one document template fragment such as the table contents and move them into another document template fragment. I shall now move our table of contents from one document template fragment to another so that it appears at the start of our report. I can now return to our ATM project specification document to apply any formatting such as removing carriage returns and changing fonts. If we examine our automatic teller machine software requirements specification report you can see that I've inserted a logo, a header and footer for each page. We have our document properties listed neatly on our screen, all of our project roles, and finally all of our version 1 artifacts are listed here, including the name, status, and a link to further information in the body of the document which was contained within the basic template that ships with Enterprise Architect. For more information about enhanced reporting with Enterprise Architect, or to download a free 30-day trial of Enterprise Architect, please visit www.sparksystems.com.